So I'm going to continue from part one. So I wonder, as a parent, what's happened at the high school level that those values that are nurtured in elementary school that has to do with growing food, with eating fruits and vegetables, with understanding food cycles, and relationship with the land. What happened where all of a sudden it's not a priority? What is the priority in our high school education system? I have emailed the principal and with a few other parents, we were trying to lobby, looking into the food choices and making a change. However, that was quite a challenging process because when you talk about organic food, when you talk about healthy food, some people have this agenda saying, well, that's expensive. Really? I mean, when we get sick and we go through medical procedures, we go to the doctor, that's expensive. So why not take care of ourselves first with our lifestyle, with the food that we consume, and then save that money later so we invest earlier and we save later. Why can't we make this connection? My assumption is that there is a huge influence of big corporations, which I'm not interested in mentioning their name. You all know them. And they pay money again, I'm assuming, to the Vancouver School Board and the schools in order to put their vending machines, in order to sell their products. And then it creates an addiction because what our kids are exposed to and are eating every day, especially when it has high amounts of sugar, creates an addiction and one doesn't have to be a physician or a scientist anymore to know those connections. It's out there. It's in the internet, on many websites, go to the libraries, tons of books about this connection. So can we really move from survive to thrive? Can we teach our children that food and the elements are the most important things that we need to learn to appreciate again. What are we teaching them in high schools? And why are, why is the connection between parents and the school is not encouraged? There's a lot, there's a sense of compartmentalization. There's not a lot of communication there aren't many events that high schools put on where parents are welcomed, where we do some activities together, other than perhaps band performance once in a while or, or putting on a theater show, which is wonderful. But there aren't really community events that bring us together. It seems like there's an agenda to actually bring us apart. And it may be not a conscious one, but it's happening. How many parents really know what their children's high school look like, what their schedule look like, what the classrooms look like, who are their teachers, what is really being taught, how is it being taught? We sort of just go on trust or on, well, we have no other choice or we don't have time. But really on a big, bigger picture, we don't have time. Our planet is in crisis. We have a huge healing crisis on all levels, on a planetary level, on a collective psychic level, 
on the level of our physical bodies, mental bodies, emotional bodies. It's all over. It's predominant. And we fail to see the connection that our education system is being hijacked and is being used as a programming institution to an agenda of creating a certain type of people. Instead of creating free thinkers, free spirits, we create numb, sleepy, complacent beings. And it is all connected. So I'm curious to hear what are your thoughts and if you have any questions, comments, or other insights that can add to this topic. Thank you for now and have a wonderful day filled with beautiful nourishing food on all levels of yourself, body, mind, soul, spirit. Thank you.